sometimes in the process of being a good Photoshop child and using layers and creating layers and separating items onto their own layers, you might create too many layers. Um, sometimes they're blank layers that you create by accident, or maybe you isolate so many things and you realize you don't need those other things that you're using the layers for, etc. You may have to delete some of the layers, and deleting layers is super easy. You can right click on a layer and choose to delete it, or how I'm going to demonstrate it is I'm going to use the trash can in the bottom right hand corner of the layers panel. And again, just like the new group or the new layer icon, the little piece of paper always means new, the little folder always means a grouping, and the trash can always means to delete or trash your items. It doesn't matter what panel you're on. And so on the layers panel, if you select a layer and hit the trash can, it will delete the layer. But if you're on the color swatches or the styles panel, it will delete those items from those panels. And so you can select one or more layers. You can um, select a layer, hold shift, and click another layer, and all the layers in between will be selected, and you can delete them really quickly. You can even delete groupings of layers. So you can select the grouping, and you can hit the trash can. I believe you'll get a little prompt that says, are you sure you want to do this? There's multiple layers inside the grouping. Um, but you can still delete layers that way. Something else that you might want to consider is merging layers. So sometimes you might separate items for whatever purpose you're using them for, and then you want to merge them back together. And so there's really two ways to, to get them to work as a team. You can group them all into a grouping, and then whatever edits you apply or, or things you do to the whole grouping would apply to all the layers. Um, but another option might be to merge layers. Maybe you separated them for a very specific reason, but now you need to bring them back together. If you select multiple layers, in this case I selected layer 2 and layer 3, you can right click on the grouping and you can choose to merge layers. You can even choose to merge visible. So if you had like 10 layers selected, but the eyeball, the little eyeball on the left hand side was turned off on some of them, it would only merge the ones. You can also choose to flatten the image, which would flatten all of your layers. And that might be something you want to do before you send the file to someone. Um, if you send someone your file with all the layers, you're allowing them to see all the edits that you made and potentially override some of your edits. So if you just wanted to show them the file that they're, you're working with, you could flatten the whole image. It would make a smaller file size and, and someone couldn't edit your files. We're going to focus on the merging of the layers when I jump to Photoshop. Something else that I want to show you in Photoshop is the ability to show and hide layers or to lock layer content and we're going to kind of do them for the same purpose. If a layer is turned off or a layer is locked or it's hidden, um, you can't accidentally edit the layer. And so in this example, maybe I'm going back to my ice cream and I want to get rid of this weird border on the outside. Now if I try to erase it or I try to make a selection and delete it and I have the background turned on, I'm never going to see if I'm actually deleting the the area that I need to because I see straight through it to a copy of the same image. And so in this case I might want to turn the background layer off or the, the background copy layer in our actual file that I'm going to see when I jump to Photoshop and it kind of isolates it. But it also means that I can't accidentally erase the background. I don't want to erase the background by accident so if I turn it off and I can't see it then I can't uh, erase it. You can turn layers on and off or make them shown or hidden by clicking the little um, eye icon, the little eyeball on the left hand side of the screen and if you click it it'll disappear and you can't see the layer and if you click it again, the, the void of where it used to be, um, the eyeball will reappear and then you can see the content on that layer. You can also avoid editing our, you can avoid editing unwanted layers by accident or making accidental edits by locking a layer and you can do that via the layer menu so you can select a layer like my ice cream cone layer here in the middle Let's say that it's perfect and I've finished all my edits and I don't want to mess it up. You can select it and choose the layer menu and at the bottom of the layers drop down menu you can see the option to lock a layer and you'll get a little prompt. Um, for right now just hit all but as we start to um, as we start to get better at using Photoshop, these things will make more sense. Um, you want to lock the transparency or the image or the position. Um, you can also prevent artboard auto nesting of files. That only applies if you're using artboards. But for now, just select all and then hit OK. And you'll see that you get a little chain in the uh, far right hand side of the layer. And then I couldn't accidentally edit this layer. I can still see it because the eyeball's turned on. But if I start painting, I'm not going to accidentally paint over that layer. I'm not going to accidentally move the the cone out of the way or delete the content because I can't do anything to that layer while it's locked. You can also unlock layers by clicking on the lock. If you click on the little lock it will disappear and then your layer is no longer locked.
So let's jump to Photoshop and let's do those, those handful of things. So we're going to delete a couple layers. We might need to create some so that we can delete some. We will practice merging layers and then we will show and hide and lock layers. And so I have that same document that we've already been working on. And maybe, I'm not sure it's a great idea, but maybe if I'm working with my ice cream cone layer and my pink lines layer and I think it's perfect and I don't want, um, I don't want to ever separate them ever again, you could select these layers and you could right click and you could choose to merge the layers and they would become one. But think really hard about that before you do it because there's no undoing that. If I move forward and I start making more edits, I can't go back and say, oh, break those layers apart again. The only way to get back to it is to hit undo, 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 or go to the history panel, which you'll learn about in chapter 10, and basically get rid of any edits between the time that you merged those layers and the time where you said, I probably shouldn't have done that. So I'm going to undo that now. You can also delete layers. So I don't know that I need the background layer. I have the background. This background layer might be just an unneeded copy. You can select that and choose the trash can and it will just disappear. It will always kind of confirm. Are you sure you want to delete those? Yes, I do want to delete that. I've got to turn the actual background back on or else see it's transparent now. It's because it's only showing me the pink lines and the ice cream cone layer which are inherently transparent. But when I turn that background layer and make it visible, um, you can see that again. Okay, I can't remember what I what I missed, so I'm just going to double check before I go back. So we show hot, um, hide, hide layers. Um, I'm going to show you how to lock the layers, and then we've talked about deleting and merging layers, so I just forgot about the locking. My apologies. Another thing that you can do is you can lock layers or you can lock groupings of layers. And so if the pink lines and the ice cream cone layer are perfect and you don't want to modify them in any way, you could select one or all of the layers or you could select the grouping of layers. And if you go to the layers menu, towards the bottom you can choose to lock the layers. Right now I have a layer grouping selected so the option says lock all layers in the group. But if I just had one layer selected it would say layer lock layers or you could select multiple layers and choose layer and then lock the layers and then it would automatically lock. You have some choices for now just choose all and select OK. But if you go back and maybe you want to apply a layer effect which we're going to talk about later in the slideshow to the pink lines you want to add drop shadow, bevel, emboss, whatever you want to do. Um, you can unlock that for editing purposes by clicking on the little chain. Now if I have the ice cream cone layer selected and I want to let's say move it from side to side um, it's locked, so if I click it, I will not be able to select or do anything with that layer because it's locked. And you can see as soon as I clicked, it just jumped to a new layer. It's like, yeah, you can't use that ice cream cone layer, but let's try the pink layer. You clicked on that. So keep that in mind. It's great for being able to lock them and prevent editing or accidental editing, but it can be frustrating if you forget that your layer's locked and you're trying to edit it in some way. So I'm going to unlock these guys because in the future, in future videos that are coming up, I'm still going to be editing those layers.